Hey guys, welcome back to a new coffee time with Cobra. Camera angles changed, camera quality's changed. Unfortunately, my old camera that I used to use has taken a shit. Nothing I can do about that. I am sorry. Now, oh, I am drinking out of my superhero cup that was uh, gifted to me by my daughter. It is March. It is my birthday month. A big thank you to everyone who has watched my reaction video. I am so sorry that there was no audio uh, from the video I was watching. I don't know what was going on. I'm not sure if it was my OBS, but when I was editing it in Vegas, the audio was there. So I assumed that the finished render was going to be there. I'm a one-man band, guys. I really am sorry. Someone has asked me in the Discord for me to take a look at something else. I will work a lot harder on getting it uh, fixed. So I am sorry about that. They want me to basically start reviewing more video trailers, get video game trailers and whatnot. One of which being a, uh, um, a Mech Warrior one, as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge Battletech slash Mech Warrior fan. I have been since Mech Warrior 2 um, that came out on the... Um, on, oh God, well, I was playing it on my old art department computer when I worked when I was in secondary school. Everyone else was playing Lemmings and Prince of Persia on the school library computers, which we weren't supposed to, but we found a way around the, the lockouts. I was playing MechWarrior because those computers couldn't handle MechWarrior. Because my art teacher, his computer had a two, a whopping two megabyte graphics card, which is what the game needed minimum to run. So I was playing MechWarrior. And I do have 3D printers. That's it, right here in this little corner. It's my little six-inch printer. I've got an, a, a, a nine-inch printer and a six-inch printer. My nine inch is down because the um, vat, the resin vat, this thing, um, two of the screws stripped, and I can't get them out. I've tried everything, bar tapping them and reverse threading the bastards out. But it's just cheaper to buy a new frame, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I will be buying it um, come the 20th. I'll be buying that. Mm. Oh, filtered coffee. I believe it's Colombian dark roast beans. No, it's, no, it's uh, Colombian light roast beans. Correction, I'm out of my dark roast beans. And to some of you who have question, who have asked me on Discord about my weight loss, yes, I have lost weight. No, I am not sick. Okay, let me make this abundantly clear. I am not sick. I have lost weight, but that's mostly because I've been going to my local gym to do so. Uh, also, I've been doing some uh, what's called chair yoga. My uh, physical therapist wants me to start doing it since my uh, car accident. I wasn't in the car that got the accident. I was hit by a car. Uh, I was coming home from my doctor's office and some twat in a learner car, of all things, a learner car, wasn't paying attention and uh, hit me, uh, doing some damage to my hip and my lower back. And so I've been forced to do some physical therapy as well as taking uh, regular medication for the pain levels and stuff. And of which, one of the things I've been doing is using this little 4.5 kilo uh, weight and I've been doing multiple reps. So I've been doing like freaking 100 reps of these Literally a hundred reps So a hundred of these in three sets. So I've been doing 300 of those for each shoulder um, As well as bicep curls and a few other things. This is why a lot of people keep asking me about my traps uh, Why my traps are so big? Um, trapezoids are your shoulder muscles And trapezoids are getting quite large <laughs> Um, 
mostly because of what I've been doing. Plus, my, my traps are naturally large anyway. They have been since I was a kid. Um, good for rugby. Wasn't a good rugby player, but good for rugby. So there's that. I've also been working on my forearms, as you can tell. And just general overall health. It's always good to get out and take care of yourself. You don't want to be that person who sits in front of computer screens 24-7 like I do for my job. I do cyber security um, and ethical hacking as well as making YouTube videos and, and doing what I can. Uh, I will be trying to get back into a decent streaming schedule because some of my contracts are now expired and done. Um, so I've got a bit of free time to myself. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean I'm made of money because I'm not. <laughs> Uh, I'm also in the process of looking for a new place to live. Uh, this place is fine, but I have outgrown it. What I mean by that is, um, as you can see behind me, I've got stuff piling up everywhere. And I've even sold stuff, given stuff away. I am just, I literally just have too much stuff. Um, and the opportunity has come up for me to move closer to my family up north, up just outside of Cambridge. And so I'm looking at, Saving my resources, main, most notably money, so that I can hire a moving van, so I can move tables, because the table on this computer on is mine. Um, plus monitors, TV, you know, fan, my electric guitar, my amp, stuff like that. Yes, I do play the guitar. No, I am not that good. Um, same as my print, my 3D printers and things like that, as well as, you know, my regular stuff, my books. Uh, yes, I am a bookworm. Those are lots of books up there. <laughs> I'm a big bookworm, um, as well as books up on top of the shelves, and I've got computer parts and various other things and stuff. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven monitors, um, two monitors on that computer, three on this one, and a spare one and a TV. So I've got quite a few monitors. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five plus TV makes six. So I have been. Like I said, I've been extremely busy doing work, guys, and I am so sorry for that. But I've got to pay my bills. You know, um, I've cut my my veterans' benefits down to basically nothing. Um, so I have to quite literally work sixty plus hours at the job I'm doing now. Um, plus, I'm I'm picking up a few uh, a few odd shifts down at the uh, Gillette factory uh, with an agency. So. My sleeping pattern has gone to shit as well. So I am sorry for that. But uh, like I said, I've got bills to pay. And so some people wanted, they, they liked the reaction video. Guys, thank you so much for everyone who's watched the video, clicked like, you know, and, and, and commented. Again, I'm so sorry about the audio. There's nothing I can really do about that. Um, I mean, unless I, I, I re, reshoot the video in, in, in what, but like I said, my Sony Vegas clip, the, 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 the master video, I've got the audios there, but for some reason, Sony Vegas just went, nope, or YouTube said nope, but uh, either way, I did my honest reactions to it, and I want to answer some of the questions in the video, so what I'm going to do is go to the video in question, and... Uh, I want to answer the questions individually. No, I want to go to my chat. This is the one thing that I absolutely find out there is about YouTube. Yes, that's my YouTube video intro. Um, here it is, my reactions. So, let me mute that. Now, um, Uh, they've done a number of 40k parodies. They're all just hilarious. This, this came from them trying to make an official comedy series at the Games Workshop. GW said no, uh, so they made this. Fair enough. That is true. Uh, Games Workshop is, as a former employee of Games Workshop, full disclosure, I used to work for Games Workshop in the Plaza uh, main store in central London. Uh, it's gone now. That, that, that's gone, so is the Tottenham... They, they closed a whole bunch of shop, stores and went into one huge mega store like a Harrods. Um, and sadly, the shop I was working at got the axe. So, here's what it is. I worked there for about a year, year and a half. Um, realized retail was not for me. And then went back into the army. So, 
I took a, a, a bit of a break from the service and ended up didn't like it and went back in. So, uh, long story short, GW is very protective of their IP and their brand, as you would be. It is your sort of main source of income. Yet, at the same time, they will willy-nilly hand out the IP to a gaming company who made power-washing titans. Whoever okayed that needs to talk to a commissar. Um, and old Jimmy's and Timmy's thing. Okay, now, in a game called Heroes and Generals that I used to play a long time ago, the game servers are now gone. Um, me, Cotton Gamer, and a few others, we nicknamed new players uh, uh, Jimmy's. And what that means is, is you're very new to the game, you're very green, you're easy to kill, things of that nature, and we were just ruthless. Uh, I'm not sure if Cotton started it first or I started it first. I believe it was Cotton. Don't quote me on that. I I I, I mastered the term bushwookie. Um, it wasn't uh, any Tarkov player or anything else like that. It was me. I came up with the term bushwookie. Okay, uh, that's uh, those are our recon players from Heroes and Generals who set up their their bolt action rifles to be one shot kills and if you weren't using heavy heavy set gold if i remember correctly it was heavy set gold if you weren't using heavy set gold you would be one shot <clears throat> and it would always be a guy with elite recon so there's no kill cam perk and yet you're like okay you check the tree line nothing there where was he hiding in a fucking bush and hence the term bush wookie um I started using that term when I started live streaming uh, Escape from Tarkov because I like to snipe in that game. Um, I sometimes will fire the game up and just see if I can do a 600 yard shot with a bolt action. And 9 times out of 10 I do. But the point is I do it to keep my skill sharp for other games like Battlefield and various other games. And during one of my live streams I sniped a player at like 400 and something yards. And I said, oh, and I mean, he's literally in his spawn. And I was using, it was a semi auto, so it was either the SR25. No, it was a, it was a HK416. It was HK416. Um, I kitted it out to be a, uh, uh, a designated marksman support rifle. Um, if you don't know your scout or your spot, spotter or your designated marksman, um, your designated marksman in the British Army will use the L96 Arctic Wolf. Um, they have recently moved over to Barrett's and, and they've also got the 338 Lapuas. But when I was in the service, we trained with Fowls, we trained with M4s, and we trained with HK416s, 417s, and we also trained with the uh, L96 uh, Arctic Wolf. Um, the reason why it's called the Arctic Wolf is because the bolt carrier is not prone to jamming or freezing up when used in sub-zero temperatures. Unlike things like Mosins, um, Barretts, um, Dragonoffs, there are, there are so many other uh, 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 snipers. No, wait, the Dragonoff's not a part of Dragonoff is a gas blower back 7 Um oh, That stupid rifle escapes me right now. But anyway... Um, there are several oh m24 woodland that's what i was thinking the woodland uh, which is what the americans and the americans train on but they don't use it anymore they they handed them off to the, the american swat teams but the point is that rifle does not do well in cold climates uh, as well the arctic wolf does the arctic wolf actually has a much larger uh, return return bolt carrier it also has a much larger larger trigger guard for you can so you can wear your gloves still uh, it even has uh, a, a, a there's certain things that the Arctic Wolf does that other bolt actions don't. And I believe the Arctic Wolf did it go up to uh, uh, 338 Lapua. But don't quote me on that. Uh, anyway, I've been out the service for about going on 15 years now. So they've technology's changed. But when I was in, that's what I was using. And um, so t to me, d doing a good... 100 yard, 200 yard, 300 yard iron sight drop. Okay. Big whoop. I tend to do 600, 700 yard in Tarkov. 600, 700 yard 
powered optic, so you're looking at you know 24 op scope um, on things like um, shoreline, lighthouse, um, reserve, bigger maps. And I like to like to do that on woods. It can be fun if you know where to go and you know what to do. Um, but that's what I like to do in Tarkov. Um, I don't really stream Tarkov because there's just no point. Um, that 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 area is just absolutely saturated, and I mean saturated with streamers. There's no point, which is why a lot of the bigger streamers like Cotton, uh, Pestley, and a few others have just stopped streaming it. They've gone onto other games. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's, it's just just there's nothing there. There's nothing, and and everyone's going oh, about hell divers yeah okay if you want me to stream hell divers i will i will get a copy of hell divers and i will stream it i am primarily a tank driver and a mech mech warrior player i play world of tanks i play uh war uh, uh war thunder and i play armored warfare okay i love playing those games um but i've recently been getting back into mech warrior and rogue tech and a few other things and whatnot um, there is a, a German YouTuber uh, uh, and streamer who I watch called uh, uh, Begro, and um, huge bloody beard. Much respect for his beard, and uh, I watch him, and he just I got that itch again, and I was like, okay. So I read out of the online and started playing that. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that um, in my spare time, and I've also been going to the gym. In fact, I need to get a new mouth guard. I bit clean through this one. Uh, when I was boxing, a bit clean through it. So yeah, I do box. Um, I used to box when I was younger, just mostly to stay fit. Um, beginning of the year, this is just a quick synopsis about my health. Beginning of the year, I had a heart attack again, another one. Uh, well, it was they considered a mini heart attack, a small heart attack. Um, hence this is why my table is full of wristbands if you don't know anything about the NHS they give you wristbands every time you go in there yes I have multiple wristbands because I've been going in and out of hospital a lot about my heart um, I had an adverse reaction to the jibby jab um, and it has give, it has given me heart issues and um, that's one of the reasons why my my want for the lack of a better word, my want to move back to the States has been put on hold. Uh, it's because I know I won't pass the physical. Not with the way my heart is. Um, and it sucks, but it is what it is, guys. And I do have every intention of moving back to the States as soon as I can. As soon as I... I, I if, if I strike it rich on the Euro Millions, you name it, and yes, I do play the Euro Millions. If I strike it rich on the Euro Millions, I will... And I mean this, I will be moving back to the States. Um, Central, so mostly Texas, maybe Oklahoma kind of area. I know tornadoes, but the you know, point is I would be moving to those sort of area, that sort of area, mostly for several reasons. One, uh, when I do stream, I'll be able to catch both the East and the West Coast if I do get back into streaming. Two, uh, I've got friends and family out there that care about me. Uh, three, I'll be able to do the Route 66 thing, which is what I wanted to do for a, for a holiday. Uh, four, I also wanted to. Uh, I've got I've got some loose ends. I got a tie up in both North Carolina as well as in Utah from when I when I was living in those states. I've got some loose ends. I've got to clean up uh, uh, there as well. And so, my goal for for next uh, my goal was supposed to be for this year was to be doing this birthday video. Technically, it's not a birthday video, but this sort of series of videos in March when I'm in the States. But like I said, with me hitting my heart issues and my health and decline and, and, and the economy being the economy, you know, that's put everything on hold. I was due to go to Europe this month. Uh, I believe I was supposed to leave. Well, today's the, is it today's the 6th? Yeah, I was supposed to leave tomorrow. I was supposed to leave tomorrow and come back seven days later but all of that has been cancelled um one finances two i just my health three there, there are so many moving gears that are going on that, that you just don't see and i just don't talk about um because some of the time a lot of the time none of you guys can help me 
and, and that's the truth. None of you guys can help me with it. Um, whether it be my love life that's non-existent. Um, I'm, I'm currently physically single in, in RL. In real life, I'm single. Uh, yes, I do hang out in places like Second Life. Um, and I have friends in Second Life and, and whatnot. And, and, and no, it's not what you always... It's not what you think. I, I go to Second Life and I fly helicopters and I drive tanks. There. Now you know. I have a Bell UH-60 Black Hawk. I have a Panzer III. I have an Abrams. I have a Sherman Jumbo. Uh, I have. That, that's what I do. It's, my, it's what I want to do. It's it's what I have fun with. So don't judge me, monkeys. All right. So anyway, so uh, long story short, I've got lots to do. Um, I've got lots of things going on. Um, I might, I primarily need to move out of this place because this place is is just. It's stifling my creativity and stopping me from doing some of the things I want to do. I want to get back to doing modeling. I want to get back to doing 3D, 3D rendering. I want to get back to doing 3D printing for you guys and, and, and things of that nature. I want to get back into doing live streaming. I want to get back into it. And the thing is, yes, my Twitch channel, let me make this abundantly clear. My Deceptive Cobra's YouTube channel is gone. It won't be coming back. Um, it is a permanent ban. It's not coming back. Even if I ask friends who are very influential at Twitch, and I do have friends that are influential at Twitch, even if I went to them hat in hand, I don't want it back. you got to understand, it would be fun, it would be nice, but I don't want it back. I don't. I do have a second Twitch channel, but I don't stream on it. I, I use it so that I can get Twitch drops and stuff like that for, for, for some of the games that I play, like World of Tanks and, and, and War Thunder and whatnot. They do Twitch drops. That's why I have my Twitch channel. I don't sh I don't plan on streaming it. I stream on Rumble, an alternative platform, and I'm getting ready to start mirroring uploads over onto Rumble. So my, my next series of Coffee Times of Cobra will be going live on Rumble as well. The reason why is because YouTube's dying. YouTube just laid off a whole bunch of people at their YouTube music section. They're laying off a whole bunch of other people elsewhere, and it's rumored that they're planning on uh, on laying off another ten to twenty percent of the staff. And if that's the case, and they're all going over to AI and algorithms and stuff, I'm sorry. I don't work for you, YouTube. This is why I also don't use self checkouts because I don't work for the grocery store. When I go to Aldi's, I'm going to use a regular checkout. If there's no regular checkout, I'm not shopping at your fucking store. I don't work for you. Let me make that abundantly clear. I do not work for you. Why on God's green earth would I do the job of someone who does work there? That would be like me going to a McDonald's, ordering my food, then going into the kitchen and making the fucking food and paying you for that privilege. Make that make sense. You can't. Therefore, ergo, self-checkouts need to go. Also, fun little fact, I have a small little tiny device, no joke, it's about the size of a credit card, okay? And with the right hats and stuff on it, not hats as in the top of the hat, but it goes on top of the device. I can actually fool a self-checkout device, a self-checkout into refunding me the cost of my groceries. You do know that, right? No? Yeah. Because as an ethical hacker, this is why you should never use a self-checkout. Why is there a camera looking at your face at a self-checkout? Why is it scanning and trying to get my facial ID for? Why does it need that? It doesn't. It needs to realize what's on the first tray that you pick up and then scan. And it goes, oh, please put the item in the bagging area. 
notice how, how that works it's telling you your job but you don't get fucking paid because guess what I don't fucking work there and you shouldn't too boycott self checkouts I'm sorry they are too easy to hack and I'm not joking I'm not joking I can scan it with a specific device in fact this mobile phone okay this mobile phone and I've, I've shown this before this mobile phone whose battery I think is dead yeah it's dead anyway this mobile phone let me bang it on charge this mobile phone has Kali Lennox on it now Kali Lennox is an operating system that is used by quite a few people to do nefarious things I am not one of them I use Kali Linux in a defensive way, not an offensive way. So let me make that abundantly clear. I do not condone or endorse any form of illegal activity. Okay? I did it to prove to the company, to the manufacturer, to Siemens, the manufacturer, that their software had so many bugs and so many holes that anyone of any understanding of simple coding and I did it in Java a so-called obsolete code I did it in Java I then took that code threw it into chat GPT and asked it to convert it from Java to Python it did it like that I then went through the code put the code into a plugin took that plugin put it into my device and then just waved my device over it and injected the payload into the machine because the machine doesn't have an, any anti-cheat or anti-hack on it accepted the update brought the actual till down till rebooted came back up Swiped three things through it. It was three packs of gum and a banana, a, a thing of bananas. And it said, please enter your card. I'm like, okay. Now, I have a Google wallet. And I use my Google wallet. I went, beep. And it said, one moment. Store, ch store, store attendant to check out whatever. Store ten, ten come up, checked over. And I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, it, it just wants. Some, apparently, there's an issue with the weight of the bananas. They were like, oh, okay, they just tapped it. That was it. They just tapped it. They approved the refund. And in my Google Wallet, it said you've received a payment of thirteen. It was, it was like three pounds fifty something. My proof of concept worked. And I checked to make sure that it wasn't just a fluke. So the same day, the same day, the same day, I went back there. Now this time, I had an RFID scanner. You can get those on the Flipper Zero. Flipper Zero is a small little device, orange and, and, and white. And it can scan RF contactless key, key cards. Now, what I did was I got the frequency of the tap card that the store attendant used so that when I walked over there and did it this time, I got three cans of energy drinks and something it came, came to an, another under a fiver. Beep, beep, beep. Paid. Store assistant required it. Beep. Thank you. Then my phone went off. Five, I was five pounds four p or something. Refund from the supermarket. Contacted Siemens. Told them. Gave them the proof. Gave them the 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 the, the, the premise. The log it. Gave them. Everything I had, every literally 
everything, even the code, gave them everything. And their response was, nothing. We'll look into it. Nothing. Took the receipts, scanned them in, showed them, proved to them, and their answer was nothing. And I used that as part of my um, coding portfolio, if you will. And it worked. It fucking worked. And still to this day, Siemens has not, not patched it. They haven't patched it. So if you happen to know that the sensor, the little red, little LED laser sensor that they're using, if you look through that glass and you see a Siemens chip on there, it's hackable. If you see a Huawei chip, and there are Huawei chips in there, it's hackable. If you see a Hitachi chip, very rare, but if you do see the Hitachi chip system, that one is not. Mm. But the rest of them are, so you've got a one in four chance it's not hackable. But everyone else are. All of them at Morrison's are, all of them at Safeways are, all of them at uh, tons of other places. Lions, Littles, Aldi's. They are. Now bear in mind, I'm not even halfway through my cybersecurity course. And I'm already learning to hack simple things with code. Simple code. You can do it. It's that easy. Everyone keeps asking me, why do I have so many mobile phones? None of your goddamn business. None of your goddamn business. It's not illegal to own more than one phone. So it's none of your damn business. In fact, this is my old phone. My old phone is on the wireless charger over there. This is my current old phone. This one gets all, and I mean every single one of my... Uh, 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 password reset requests so the arsehole who keeps trying to do a password reset request on my facebook and my meta on, on my meta account and keeps putting the code in wrong it's because it's not being sent to my number it's being sent to a different number you moron a different number that i've never registered with anyone other than meta the ultimate two-factor authentication. It's not even on the same carrier as that phone. So you can call up EE. And I'll tell you who my carrier is. It's EE. You can call up EE. You can claim to be me. You can get an exact copy of my SIM. Because that's the whole SIM cloning thing. You can go ahead and you can do that. It's still not going to work. Because this phone is an honor network this phone doesn't even have a sim card in it there's no network for you to call and say can i get a copy of my sim card please nice fucking try this is what's known as a faraday phone do you understand what that in that is and you know what a faraday cage is if you don't learn this is a faraday phone which means it can receive but it never broadcasts faraday phones are amazing because it even though it has my see right here i get all my notifications i get everything weather reports you name it but it's not on a sim can't make a single phone call can't receive a single phone call, but it can receive texts. So the moment you do a password request on any of my accounts, it goes to that phone. 
So go ahead. Try and clone a sim that doesn't exist. <laughs> you can't. Mm. Would you look at that? Coffee's gone. So the video's done. I'll see you guys in the next one.